Ciao a tutti! Today I am in a quite unusual setting, as you can see, because I am clearly not in the water. I am currently in the city of Bremen in uh, northern Germany. It's a place I know very well because I lived here and worked here for seven years. And I'm here because, uh, as much as it sounds strange, here in northern Germany there is a strong research going on on coral reefs, of all things. Do you want to know why? Check this video. So, some time ago, the German government, through the German Research Foundation funding agency, established what is called a priority program. A priority program is a multi-year and multi-institutional effort to study one specific problem. In that case, the specific problems were coral reefs. Now, the German Science Foundation takes the money basically from taxpayers. So it's people paying taxes and part of these taxes is uh, put into research programs and research efforts. The priority program on coral reefs is worth uh, several million euros. So this means that several million euros of taxpayers' money are going into study coral reefs. You might ask why? Because uh, Germany, as you probably know, has the sea, the North Sea and the Baltic Sea, but there are no coral reefs in Germany. It's too cold and I can testify to that because I've been surfing and windsurfing in these waters and they are actually pretty cold. The point is that uh, knowing better coral reefs is not only useful for the people living close to them, but it's useful for everybody globally. The project I am co-leading, for example, studies coral reefs uh, that are old uh, hundreds of thousands of years, so they are now fossil. And we are trying to understand how and why these fossil reefs are different to those that are living today in an area in the Caribbean, for example. But another great uh, quality about coral reefs is that, as you probably know, they build a carbonate skeleton. And by studying the remains of coral reefs throughout time, I'm speaking about hundreds of years, millennia, hundreds of thousands of years old reefs, we can have an idea of what were the environmental conditions at the time of living. For example, what was the sea surface temperature at the time of living? And this gets really important to try and understand how climate was in the past to have sort of baselines for how the climate can look into slightly warmer conditions in the near future. Just to remind you one thing and to fix one thing, uh, we know that in the past there were warmer climate conditions at certain point in the Earth history because of natural processes. These are due to orbital cycles or other properties of the Earth system. While today we're going towards warmer climate conditions because humans are emitting CO2 in the atmosphere and causing the greenhouse effect that we all know about. So, for this reason, you should care about what corals are doing and what corals are indicating in terms of climate for the past, present and future. So, this is it uh, for uh, this Geocast. Uh, if you liked it, put a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you next time and ciao a tutti from Northern Germany. Ciao!